Yeah. So today's session is all about blended learning. And we are at the Global Teacher Training uh, Program, Module 3. So we'll be, when I talk about Global Teacher Training Program, and we, have, we, have, we had last two modules where we interacted with two different professors. First one was Kevin, uh, Professor Kevin, and then we met Alicia. And in between, we also got the opportunity to interact with uh, Professor Aru Berman uh, to add on to areas there. Now, third module is majorly all about blended learning. What is blended learning is all about? And how um, it actually evolved? Because looking at the current situation, to be very honest, so far, we all have been learning. I see this somewhere. Uh, it's equal. Yeah. So, uh, so far, we all have been uh, taking the classes physically, being um, visiting to the school, colleges, universities, and meeting to all our students directly there itself. Whereas nowadays, um, blended learning where we are connecting with students. So we are trying to bring that classroom environment and uh, to these students sitting at home and we are interacting them, interacting with them virtually. So we are trying to teach them virtually, but keeping the same pace of teaching them by giving them say, same kind of a little experience of classroom learning as well. So creating some sort of assignments, activities, teachers are putting up efforts, how they can explain more to their own kids and teach them in a better manner, in an online, in a virtual way, while giving them good experience as well at the same time. So this is all uh, blended learning is all about, where blended learning, where the mixture of classroom learning and the online learning is blended together, right? Now, so when we talk about uh, this collaboration, this collection of both the things, and then maybe when we say this blended learning, so, you know, obviously we all know that top technology is there. It plays a very important role, fundamental role, I would say, where uh, we are connecting to all our students out there and different, different mediums, different um, activities which we can hold let's uh, recently which we had at uh, IIU as well the spin wheel where we were connecting with our students in a, a little interactive manner where we can test them understand them and kind of a little interaction as well right like today what we all are learning but then I can't see you all so with that but then that involved so that involvement is also there so technology turned out to be a fundamental and a vital vital equipment uh, for uh, this blended learning. Second is blend of online and face-to-face -face mode learning. So with the help of different uh, portals, with the help of different uh, uh, technology modes. So if I talk about FaceTime, Zoom and other platform where we can interact in a manner with the students and giving them kind of that experience of classroom learning as well, where we are online. So that is also, uh, that, that's what uh, it is uh, actually called about blend learning and well-planned combination of meaningful activities. So what activities, where and how they are required. And you know, all those activities in a manner where students can experience all those things and understand in a better manner. Because so far you were uh, physically there with your students, but now when we are teaching them virtually, so how can you make them understand in a similar format? What are different activities you can have uh, with them virtually so that you'll make sure that they know about uh, what you are trying to teach them. They are, they are actually understanding all that. So such areas are required, right? Also, which maintains to develop as a method of meeting learners need, right? So while making, the, while keeping this or uh, while thinking that, you know, you, the one understands or not, the one uh, child is getting involved with it, uh, with your activity or not. So you need to understand that teachers and where we all need to understand that they are, uh, what they are, what are their requirements, what are their need uh, and how you can make them understand. So what all methods would be required to make them understand. So we all need to develop such method 
such activities for them specifically um, as a faculty so which placed more computer systems activities like i gave you one example which spin the wheel um, iiu has been doing with all the students right so to kind of an involvement where we have with our students and different gadgets with pupil because nowadays this is what uh, they are very much comfortable with you know so they are the gadget free they know how i mean nowadays even if i would not know but my child would know how to use that better so they are gadget freak nowadays so this is how and teacher led instruction so we are face to face interaction like uh, like the way we are learning today similarly with the, all these technologies they are learning through videos they are learning through uh, sessions and workshops but there certain activities which are involved where they can learn but but they can easily grasp things they can easily experience things where they can easily adapt it and follow that in their future so these uh, so such activities such uh, things are actually required uh, where um, to while teaching the students with this blended learning mode and which is also giving us the student centered blending learning where we say that web based assessments we are also providing them the feedback forms are there feedback reflection where we understand that how much our child would be able to understand this activity or not right so computer mediated instruction where digital visual e learnings are also there for the students so they are understanding through videos they are understanding but then they are at the same time they are giving feedback as well and the e learning process so they can learn they can observe they can do things any time whenever they want to because the recorded system is also there for them right and then printed instruction because then they can go to the entire study material in the traditional way they can go through and then they can follow the instruction but that's too on their wish so even the session is there but if they miss they don't actually miss like today if you miss but then it's going to be on a private mode and be shared with you all uh, later on so we, we just don't miss uh, something we can easily attend later as and when it will be uploaded on on to the lms so learning management system this is something which is the advantage but whereas in the classroom learning if a teacher has taken in session uh, if a child has missed that in the you know any sort of lecture they have missed that cannot be just repeated they need to connect with the faculty they need to connect with their colleagues to you know understand and uh, bridge the gap if they have missed anything so this these are certain advantages um uh, of this uh, blended learning program if i uh, would say and four major categories uh, used in blended learning whereas uh, it managed uh, learning very well orchestrate the learning process and also collaborative learning because again i would be giving uh, another example uh, iiu has one this biggest uh, international student uh, exchange learning program so bk program knowledge exchange program was there so the students can learn from anywhere any sort of faculty the best out of the best um, you know faculty and then that collaboration and then a uh, knowledge exchange program uh with they, they they can have better so that collaboration uh, collaborative learning uh, will also play an important role nowadays uh, and that too that is authentic why because you are learning from someone who is the best you know but not a best in in our own area but the best in that particular um uh, environment so that these are certain um, you know advantages when we talk about uh, this uh, particular thing now what are the features of uh, this entire blended learning so if i talk about major features it increased student engagement in learning because again as i said earlier um any time anywhere but then it is only up to us when and how we want to so it is easily accessible easily approachable and it's in our hands so it is uh, absolutely uh, you know appropriate as and when we are free so we can engage so students engagement learning is easy and what when and how they want to study so it's on to their wish so if they really want to study something they look for the best and then they keep on engaging themselves on the same topic and area so that also adds value just just one and second it enhances teacher and student interaction where uh, you know it's it's someone's wish that they really wish to they'll be interacting more and more and student teacher interaction uh, on, not only onto their wish but also they're looking forward for something they'll be putting up more and more efforts for that particular thing and then interacting and learning onto that uh, giving um, their more uh, you know time their more uh, 
if they will be getting more experience their more time and then the more efforts for that to be learned uh, for that particular learning so they'll be putting up more efforts to learn that particular thing because they would wish for the same and third so responsibility for learning obviously if they have chosen for something so there are certain things you choose for or by chance so if you choose something definitely you will be more responsible for that and then you're putting up efforts so the child will be putting up efforts to learn that particular thing so they'll be responsible for that right again as i said any time anywhere what they wish for so time management and flexibility they are not unable they are unable to for some reason they'll be able to easily access that as and when how they would want so they can go with the recordings they can look for the videos they can look for the presentations later on and then they can see what they have missed so this, these are certain advantages but certainly they will not be able to interact in that way but yes the missing part would not be there so that they can cover up in the next session they can easily you know interact with the faculty and uh, understand what they what they have missed so far so now the fifth part which where the improved student learning outcome where they improve the student learning outcome because you have people from all across then you start then you interact then uh, then you start then you interact and then you learn things um, then um, to improve that learning outcome you have access you have the management where you see the feedback and then uh, certain activities where in the last uh, slide where i said these web based assessment the feedback reflection and outcome so we would be able to understand that we would be able to understand to improve student learning outcome through those feedback plus their assessment that where do they lie from short 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 small small activities where we'll be uh, conducting among our students so through those we will be able to understand better that what need is now for this student to understand in a better manner what activities would require for my student to be conducted so that they'll be able to learn and understand things in, in in a better manner so would not require a much of interaction or much of engagement with the student but a little and would be easier because virtually it would be much more easier to connect with them give them task practice because you are not sitting next to them and help but then virtually yes we'll be helping them more through sessions and workshops and sharing links with them and guiding them in that particular manner so yeah i believe any questions so far uh, till here so that we can continue further any any questions so far no okay so blended learning the entire model if i talk about blended learning is rotation model where you have face to face drive with your students or where you have online driver to connect with all your students enriched virtual model where we connect with our students flexible uh, learning models where we interact with our students where we connect with our students we see their uh, level understanding through uh, virtual assessments through virtual feedback forms and all and then flipped classroom model to the virtual mode like we are connecting to conducting conferences giving them better opportunities more interaction and so what not right and project based learning so who is good with what and then you can divert your child there itself to learn, better learning right so you can give them different projects they can have better interaction with different country people different state people and then they'll be working on better projects for their learning model right and this also gives them inside out learning model process for them to learn interact and grasp and also the outside learning model too as i said it's absolutely a rotation model when we talk about overall blended learning as a process right now important um, uh, features when while we talking so sixth if i talk about enhanced enhanced institutional reputation so obviously it also enhances our institution rock reputation because we are interacting with that particular area obviously our students getting more opportunities our students getting different uh, level of understanding like uh, i said that biggest uh, knowledge exchange program to i uh, i used their students are learning about different countries their culture the different areas and so not what not so they were learning many things and which was giving more 
more exposure to the institution, more uh, exposure to that individual child as well, to the family too. And so they were not wasting their time onto the virtual mode. They were not wasting their time on gadgets. But other than their normal studies, they were also doing something extra, which is giving them more uh, knowledge, which was giving them more power, which was giving them more, coming, which was also enhancing their skills virtually, where they were interacting with internationals, the way they were interacting with other people and learning things in a, in a totally different manner, which they have never thought of. Yes, it is very easy to be said. And it's being said that, yes, you get, you know, you must get that what you dream for. But I would say you do not get what you dream for. Yes, but you get what you have never even thought for. So this is what this virtual mode or, uh, you know, is being actually uh, fortunately or unfortunately under this pandemic situation has actually provided us with. So now we are get to learn with people where we have actually never thought of, we have actually never dreamt of that we will be learning with such people. We'll be getting an opportunity where we can interact with such people even. We will be getting the opportunity to meet such people. Yes or not. But then definitely the positive part of this current situation that we have got the opportunity where we can interact, talk, learn from such people we have never even thought of, never dreamt of even. Right? So this is a flexible teaching and learning environment for all our students out there. So blended learning for teachers even, it is absolutely flexible. We can also look upon our time as per our comfort zone. But certainly if we ever thought of that we would be traveling, going there and taking sessions would not be that easy, right? So although they're more amendable for self and continuous learning, this is also required because you're meeting with n number of people. So uh, we need to be update ourselves at the same time and keep on learning. So our own learning is also required at the same time. Like I'm teaching uh, or I'm taking this session. So I, I would require to update myself. Similarly, every day is a new day. So we all need to update. Uh, although our kids are more energetic and they have more knowledge uh, since we talk about gadgets but we all need to be updated because we are dealing at the end of the day with them so they have more questions they are they are very much curious and many things also this gives us better opportunities for experiential learning that's what i believe that it is actually giving uh, more opportunities to all of us uh, when I talk about experiential learning because uh, interacting, connecting and talking and sharing our ideas with uh, different, different country people, different, different students. And, you know, in school, it was very easy because we were meant to sit next to our friend, I mean, our colleague, whether we like him or not. But whereas virtually, it's our choice which session and which class uh, we would be actually opting for and you know which session i would be taking so it is it has become more as a choice not by chance only so yes so we can look upon our colleagues there and then see where we lie in so yes that's another uh, benefit under this so key benefits when, if i talk about opportunity for collaboration at a distance like we are doing currently so we are all connecting here with different different schools similarly and then you know, taking sessions and workshops and sharing our ideas together. Individual students work together virtually in an intellectual endeavor as a learning practice. So that's definitely there as a key benefit. Second, increased uh, flexibility and technology enabled learning. Uh, technology enabled learning uh, allows for learning anytime and anywhere, letting students learn without any barrier of time, location, but with the possible support of in-person engagement. So if it is not there, but then they can learn through videos, they can check out, they can check the recordings and a lot of things, even if they're missed, uh, as we discussed. Third, uh, which is again, a very important part, enhanced learning where additional types of learning activities improve engagement for students and can help students achieve higher and more meaningful level of learning so again it is such a beautiful way where you can actually understand step by step and reach out to certain level where we where as a child individually where they see themselves plus a teacher also so they can have the they can have more time for their learning process for themselves while teaching to their students because they're there on the system and then keep on uh, doing the research onto the area and there and then they can answer their kids at the same time if a child is asking anything uh, because sometimes let's say if we don't know about it but then we can easily right so the fifth part again 
which blended learning provides making learning resources and experiences repeatable, reliable, and reproducible for all our students out there. So they're majorly, if I talk about 10, 10 important benefits, 10, right? So we'll just uh, go through with them all. Team teaching, yes, it is possible. Um, better information, definitely. Extended time with students, right? And eager students, those who are very much onto learning, they will definitely continue continuously interacting with you. And uh, then individualized professional development plans where we would know that what, when, how we will be teaching them and connecting with them. Then more earning power to the teachers, definitely, because in a day we can take n number of sessions anytime in anywhere the world has become much smaller place as you can see my background international internship university here so yes you can easily take sessions anytime anywhere and then in a day you can probably earlier you would have uh, been traveling from one place so if you're taking one session in bangalore one session in uh, you've been asked to take in europe would not be possible but today yes it is so definitely and motivate hard to um, reach kids so sometimes it was difficult but now it is easy for both uh, from both the ends so for the students plus for teachers as well at the same time right also more leadership roles so you have better opportunities more options every individual will be getting opportunity and then more opportunities more exposure and better interaction and better learning obviously so yes now ninth Focus on deeper learning. So if anyone would love to learn and interact more, so you have better deeper learning through this blended learning for teachers uh, part. And then 10th, new option to teach at home. So if you are looking, this process actually opened up for all of us, uh, for all the teachers out there with new options to teach at home. So now there are many teachers I've been listening that they are not even interested now to go for, you know, uh, for the institution for physical teaching, but they are more interested in teaching by their, you know, place, by virtual mode itself, because this is giving them more earning, this is giving them more uh, interaction, exposure, and whatnot, because internet, one system, one screen has combined with everything. So virtual mode is giving more, more, much more interaction, much more exposure, and a lot. So it has become much more accessible for all of us. Isn't it? I believe everyone would agree with me on this note. So, yeah. Now, this important point, increased interaction, as I said, yes, definitely, which uh, blended learning offers a platform to facilitate greater interaction between students as well as between um, uh, students and teachers. So, yes, earlier with interaction, not only with students, but also teachers and students, because as and when they wish for, if someone who would really would want to learn, so they will definitely do the entire research. But at the same time, our own research is also required uh, where we would love, love to learn. So benefits, time saving, cost reduction, it is flexible and also increased ROI definitely. Or blended learning where learner engagement, effective learning, creative and also motivating if someone would wish to and the person. So learning to be virtual citizens um, learners practice the ability to project themselves socially and academically in an online community of inquiry. So if they wish for something like that, then learners actually practice uh, these things. And then the different projects, different learning and different uh, organization, different areas where they get the better opportunities and better interaction, where digital learning skills are becoming essential to be lifelong learner. You know, so it is required by each one of us everyone and blended courses help learners master the skills for using a variety of technologies at the same time so like i'm sharing the screen today uh, if i play a, a, a wheel today here and uh, you are supposed to answer such questions there let's say for example so there are many activities which are required at the same time which gives them a kind of experience uh, for them to better learning better process better understanding you know so yeah now the important part of it and when we talk about this entire blended learning uh, is divided into five different parts uh, as you can see in the curriculum but the first part is role of teachers yes blended learning is important it is good it is helpful for all of us while teaching it is helpful for students as well it is helpful for the organization too 
and it has a lot of benefits when we talk about but what is our role as teacher you know what is our role as a teacher in that? so teacher's role for knowledge provider to coach and mentor yes and blended learning actually provides an appropriate balance between online instructions which offers the interactive tech based learning and individualized pacing and privacy that keeps students continuously engaged and motivated and uh, teachers led instruction which personalizes the learning experience and as the human elements of encouragement and also compassion and caring guidance that only teachers can give so what a teacher is telling to their students to do definitely would be done i would request you all to please on me so this blended learning the entire process definitely if a teacher is asking to their student uh, to do something definitely a child would be doing that so giving them instruction when they follow and then you know their anonymity is also required their privacy is also required to be taken care and so that that actually creates a kind of a trust among their students right and which personalizes the learning experience for them and adds human elements where encouragement is required where compassion and caring guidance that only teachers can give to their students so these such areas where teachers need to play a very 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 important role i would say a crucial role which they play right now giving student permission and space to become active learner who gain knowledge directly right so uh while sharing links with them while giving them um, certain websites while giving them certain um, activities certain conferences link to be uh, to be a part of um, or or different uh, areas where you interact with them where you talk with uh, talk to them and then sharing them different information where they can connect with them all so there are many things but then uh, through this yes you can give them better opportunities in fact more and more opportunities many opportunities where they can gain knowledge from right and both where time opens up for teachers to provide face to face support and again individualized instruction more frequently so frequent instruction at the same time are also required to be given by the teacher for their students uh, while uh, learning right anything so far anyone would like to ask so i'm open for the questions please anyone would like to ask nada aniket mm i'm following it's very interesting uh, because uh, i'm uh, in this uh, i had uh, uh, once uh, before 5 uh, 6 months we have this uh, blended learning yeah and uh, now, now we are uh, full uh, at school but uh, if we if we want to say is blended uh, learning good uh, uh, maybe i think uh, that uh, it is more better than <laughs> than if we are online the whole time because we we can make uh, we can make uh, many things in uh, in live so i think uh, many many uh, benefits also had this blended learning and for now dr prachi great thank you so uh, i believe i should uh, move further with this so blended learning yes four major parts so when i talk about inter uh, online interaction data practices personalization which is again very important and online interaction with uh, uh, their students which is actually required the two major parts again technology skills and test positions so once we have good technology skills to understand how we are connecting with our students and guiding them to use the same technology in a right manner because use of anything you know unwanted requirements of anything use of anything which is not required to be used at that particular time and duration that can only be guided with a teacher and i believe that's what our students actually follow if a teacher is guiding in the right manner a child would be definitely following it so more profound influence and effect on students learning can be only given through a teacher definitely sixth important point i would say there there trust that comes that uh, with close relationship can give teachers insights into students personal struggles and needs insights which 
empower teachers to comfort and coach students through challenges and that actually often serve as an obstacle to learning. Definitely, if a child is facing any sort of challenges, if a child is facing, uh, if they're struggling with anything, so a teacher can, a teacher is the main guide who can guide them, help them, give them, uh, you know, um, help them in overcoming through all those challenges, whether it is technological, whether it is kind of a uh, personal, professional, or any sort of thing. But this way, a better interaction and guide them because this is something which also, uh, you know, they, they it takes their attention somewhere or the other way as well. So where role of teacher plays a very, very important, crucial role uh, in students' lives, where teacher plays a very important role in, in terms of guiding them, hands holding them, which was not there in, at, at times of classroom learning, which was easier at that moment of time. But now, because they have a lot of uh, you know distractions, I would say, where students get, get distracted towards through this virtual learning mode, their advertisement, their things which mm -hmm. are coming up distracted. Only but. Right. Um, I would request you all to be on mute, please. Yeah. Kalpana, ma'am, I believe you are on, not on mute. Yes, I'm muted. Right. Now, with all these, definitely, role of teachers plays an important uh, part um, in this entire blended learning, virtual learning program. But at the same time, we know that we can learn, we can teach better, we can teach best through this virtual platform, we can do a lot through this virtual platform. Why not? So that is the reason it is good for teachers, but and it is at the same time, it is very good for something which is used in a wrong manner, something which is not being guided if a child is not very much aware of. So that's where role of teacher plays uh, an important uh, part where we can help our students to understand things in a better manner where the fourth important role of learning plays where increased student interest. So it also brings an attention among students where they know that this is something, you know, new what they are learning, but with a lot of distraction. So technology brings this internet brings within, uh, you know, itself. So where we need to, dis these dis distractions actually comes around while learning anything, these advertisement. And even if you know, like, you know, uh, artificial intelligence, so just click once and then that keeps on, you know, coming around as an advertisement and uh, popping up uh, windows, uh, uh, keep on coming while disturbing to all our students, but then where the role of teacher plays a very important role. When technology is integrated into school lessons, learners and uh, are more likely to be interested in and focused on and uh, we're excited about different subjects, students would be very much excited to learn things. They would, they would really want to study all those things. So that's where, but then they are interested. If a child is interested, if not, then uh, again, our role is to make them uh, or in such lessons in schools where learners are not very much interested, but then we need to bring that interest among all of them. We need to create that interest for them into that subject. So that is also something where teacher's role plays, uh, again, important um, part in, in it, where we need to under make them understand, make them uh, the way, the kind of activities what we can conduct for our students to uh, you know understand things in a better manner, to make... Uh, or to have this increased student interest uh, where they can understand things in a better manner. Second, we keep students focused for longer because long hours where they're sitting in front of the screen, where they're trying to understand things, but then the, the, these distractions are there, there are many things coming up on their way where they're disturbed, where they're difficult for them to understand, they are difficult for them to take things for the certain challenges and whatnot. So this thing, distract them uh, but again role of learning is again required in a virtual mode that keeps students focused where too many distractions are there because in the classroom learning it was easier for our students because they're sitting in a uh, you know way the discipline is there of the institution where everyone would be sitting together and they're not allowed to go out probably but then for that everything they, they know that the session is going on they just can't excuse for this they need to be there the attendance and everything but virtually it is a little difficult for us to maintain all those things. So where now virtually we have a lot of distractions to so keep students focused for longer again. The use of computers to look up information and data is tremendous lifesaver, right? And combined with access to resources such as internet to conduct research. So it has a lot of plus point, you know, everything has its pros and cons. Similarly, this um, 
particular thing has a lot of things where we can understand things which has a lot of exposure possibilities knowledge research system what not but where we need to keep our students focused for longer so we need to be as a role model for our students guide them in that particular manner where they understand that what they are going through with and what is more important and how they can what and how these things can play a very important role in their life because this is kind of a blessing for them where they, they can interact they can learn right. things into a absolutely different format and with a lot of different exposure and experiential learning as well at the same time while learning through a uh, virtual mode now it also prepares students for the future so yes as i said in the last uh, point research skills it also help them in uh, building up their research skill because they are already sitting on the system and if they are learning anything at the same time they do they keep on doing the research on the system what they are learning and ask their questions to their teachers at the same time whereas in the classroom mode what they were learning doing earlier they used to go home and then revise that and come back and then start coming up with the questions to their teachers whereas in today's mode they just quickly they come up with questions and then they ask the questions to their teacher there and then so yes i believe that we also need to be very much updated at the same time because we know that what they can ask but yeah we are teachers so we also have that google uh, with us definitely self learning mode is also uh, for them which gives them more power and self engagement so they also learn now how to interact how to uh, search because this is also very important we all know uh, what is required but rightly what to be searched to do the research is also a very good learning which every child uh, is uh, need to learn in fact we as a teacher also would know ki hum search you know what all we want to search what all we want to learn what all and how that to be searched that is also required for them so it also helps to develop self driving force among our students plus i would say for teachers as well because sometimes we would also not know that how this particular thing to be searched onto uh, the system or even on internet so we we don't know that how what keywords to be uh, put across in that uh, you know search box where we can get the right answer about it so this is also one thing which has added value uh, when we talk about blended learning and better decision making because you have options you have understanding and then you have different different way even if you could not understand by one definition you have tremendous other to choose and understand in a better manner right so it offers a large sense of responsibility through computer literacy definitely right so it, again i would repeat it is divided into four parts blended learning online learning you have small groups you have collaborative area where you have collaborative learning again you have individual sessions where you can learn from and then personalized online learning as well where when as and when we wish for we can learn and interact and talk about uh, so not only even sometimes we as a student or our students as well so we can play like either way right now Uh, it also allow instant diagnostic information and student feedback so we can understand that what where our student is actually going through with what and then how they are learning if they are lying into the right area the feedback form we can float uh, among them and then we can have the instant results as well so we can uh, have few multiple choice questions we can have short assessment among our students to understand and a better understanding that where are they attentive in these sessions or not so that can be a quick one uh, among all of them certainly we just can't see them sometime and we just can't have that all the students are attentive or not but yes those who are actually um, very much interested in they'll pay attention about it it also provides students autonomy when i say autonomy the use of e learning material increases a students ability to set appropriate learning goals so they would know better in that way and take charge of his or her own learning process which develops an ability that will be translatable across all the subjects so they would know how as i said that uh, different definitions for better learning better learning process and everything so they would know better in this way where anything whatever the teacher has been sharing among their students right they would be having better options better uh, planning uh, among themselves to learn and divide that into categories where learning goals can be set and take charge of their own learning process that how when in terms of uh, 
you know, kind of experiential, interactive mode they'll be learning into a different uh, format in all together. Now, it also enables students to learn at their own pace. So as and when, whenever they wish to, however they wish to, but then they can easily attract, interact with their teachers, their faculties, or whomsoever they're learning. And they can also choose. So they have many options as well while having their faculties. So what and when and how they will be learning uh, from their faculty and which area would they would uh, want to give more attention uh, about. This is uh, all about today's session. So anyone would like to ask anything from the first uh, part of the module, which is blended learning included the introduction role of model, role model as a teacher and then role of a uh, client Yeah. Okay. Any queries so far? Anyone would like to ask any question, please? Shivani Patil, Rashmi, you there? You've been quite active in last few sessions. Manju, ma'am, 